Once upon a time, there was a proud prince who lived a happy life in a creepy old castle, but he was a bit lonely. I wish I could meet a princess. I promise we'll find you a princess. One day, the prince's father, the king, cried, Let's cross our country to find find you a princess. The family stayed in some great palaces. Princesses came from near and far, aiming to impress the waiting prince. Mostly the princesses behaved well, but some were vain, some were lazy, and some just wanted the cake. The prince did meet a lovely princess called Julia, who seemed just right, but sadly Julia had terrible manners and ate gigantic mouthfuls of food. She just wouldn't do either. The prince returned to his faraway castle feeling sad. One night there was a fearsome storm. Fierce lightning lit up the sky. It was so cold that everyone stayed close to the fire. In the middle of the night, there was a, there was a loud knocking up at the door. It was such a nasty night, the queen felt nervous about the noise. Then they heard knocking again. They opened the door. There stood a girl with dripping wet curly hair. The king invited the girl in. He gave her a chair by the fire so she could dry her hair. The prince couldn't help but stare at her. The girl sipped a mug of warm milk and tried not to make a mess on the carpet. Soon the girl grew warm and dry. Now she was in a much better mood. Who are you? asked the prince. The girl told him she was a princess. The queen did not believe this. Let's prepare a room and prove whether she's a true princess, thought the queen. As the maids began to make the girl's bed, the queen balanced a pea on the bottom of the bedstead. She will have a beastly slight sleep if she's a real princess, said the queen, because she will feel a big lump in her bed. Then, onto that bed, the maids piled 20 mattresses with 20 feather quilts on top of one another. When the quilts were smooth, the maids left. The prince's mother fetched the girl from the other room. There, she was left for the night. In the morning, the queen swept into the girl's room. Tell me, how did you sleep? She asked. The girl could barely speak. I'm so tired I could weep, she squeaked. The girl didn't sleep at all. The girl blurred out. There was a lump under the blankets. I'm black and blue all over. There was no doubt about the girl now. Only a princess would have felt a little round pea in the bed. When the prince found out, he gave a shout of joy. Whoopee! The prince vowed to marry the princess and astounded her by asking her the right way they didn't hang about. And what do you think happened to that special little pea? It was placed in the Royal Museum, where it probably still is today. The end.